So really, if we add up what I call your zero days, the year is 365 days, but really you work for 19. <laughs> Brian, I put in long hours today. Yeah, I know, but you only do that once a year. <laughs> so don't, don't tell me what you did today when you're not going to do it consistently. <laughs> See, whatever you give me, add the word consistency to it. Integrity is great as long as we do it what? Consistently. Healthy work ethic is cool as long as we do it what? Consistently. Listen, but do it what? Consistently. Trustworthy, but you got to be trustworthy what? Consistently, all the time, right? Everything we do, if you add consistency to it, it magnifies it. Because you got everything you do, you got you to do it consistently. We see it all the time. Let me show you where you see it in your life real quick. Small things keep you from succeeding. Not big things. Small things. Anybody ever been running late for an appointment, stuck in traffic for school, or you're running late to take the kids to school? Don't you always get the old lady in front of you or old man that's going slow? <laughs> always. Always. Doesn't every light, you can't catch a break. Who knows what I'm talking about? Every light is red. You in the left, you're in that lane that's turning left, and you always the one that misses. You know, everybody, if everybody in front of you would just go, we can all make the light. Who knows what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Traffic. Everything happens when you're running late. But you know what you don't add up? How many times you hit the snooze button? See, nobody want to go back to where it started. See, if you don't hit the snooze, see, the snooze button is nine minutes. Because they say you go back into REM, rapid eye movement or whatever, after 10 minutes. So the snooze button is nine. So when you hit the snooze button once, the old lady got in front of you back then. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? See, the old lady got in front of you nine minutes ago. But nobody want to add up the snooze button twice. You add up when you get in the car, and you add up the red lights, and you add up the stop signs, and you add up the turn signals, but nobody adds up the snooze button. See, that's how business and productivity, that's how that works. Nobody adds up all the zero days. They just want to tell you what they're doing. They don't tell you what they're not doing. I'd rather you give me 20 push-ups five times a day than 100 once. Because you're not going to do 100 again because you're going to be too sore. So I'd rather you give me a routine and a habit of consistency than show me how much you can do right now and you won't do no more this year. Because <laughs> that's, too, that's too painful. Why are you trying to do 100 right now? You just give me 20 in reps of five and let your arms cool off so we can do that again when? Tomorrow. I'd rather you do it consistently so when people come to me talking about their production and their numbers, I'm like, it, it all boils down to consistency. Tell me what your zero days are. If there's 365 in a year, I think it's 312 if you take out all the weekends. We add up every day that you really work. It can't be 92. <laughs> See? That's where the truth come in. So that's where the results come from. You haven't become that person that wants to track good and bad. So you don't get the real numbers if you don't track good and what? Good and bad.